right, welcome or welcome back everyone. New project day. Got the Car Players unbranded book nook. Uh, you know, from those folks. <laughs> that's sort of, I think that's sort of typical of these. I think I, that could be the company. I'm not sure. But, you know, Car Players. And uh, I think, okay, so Aslo was, was nar. Who knows? <laughs> a little too just stylized for me to understand. Okay. Uh, another tube of B7000 sample. Yay. <laughs> Got a LEDs, a couple of bits and bobs. Hey. Our stack of pieces. Okay. Dust cover. Another piece of acrylic. Got a oil paper. Okay, looks like it's gonna have a fireplace in it, or something on fire anyway. <laughs> Got the standard instruction manual. And how many pages of cutouts am I gonna have to do on this one? <laughs> it actually feels weird. Oh, what's ain't there? They are stickers. I'm happy to report. These have to be cut out, but these are all stickers on all this stuff up top, but, and it's it's a one pager, so there's not even a lot of those to do. Excellent, excellent. That's I don't mind doing the cutting out now. I'm getting into the rhythm of it, but it's still tedious. <laughs> so set those over there, along with the. Uh, Go look at the uh, other book nooks from this company: the Film Dark Room, Wander Library. Tarot Divination Society, <laughs> Refining Master's House, Butterfly Collection, and Gorgeous Wardrobe of Duchess. Okay. Is it that all of them? Yeah, that's... Oh, I think, yep, that's all the, <laughs> that they're advertising at any rate. And before I get going too far on this, if you're new here, this is what I do. I buy these sets and build them step by step in real time so you can see all my successes and all my failures and how I hopefully fix those inevitable failures as they come up. Uh, try to stay positive, keep it loose, and uh, just have a good time with it. If you've seen any kits or models or anything that you'd like to see me give a shot at building, feel free to drop, drop it in the comments because I'm always looking to add on to my list. I'm pretty stocked up I think through the end of the year but you know we, if something really catches my eye I'll bump it up to the front of the list otherwise you know just be patient and we will eventually get around to building it I like to take I generally like to do a big project and a small project back to back just sort of I call them uh, palette cleansers just have one sort of a real simple build every now and then these are sort of the cute bee style doesn't have not quite as chemical chemically smelling as the, the cute bee ones are, but still got that nice screen printed stuff. Got the old fashioned cars and everything on there. And, uh, looks like, I don't know if that's gonna be, uh, that's probably not a hot ride. That's more like an English Sportster, isn't it? But uh, yeah. yeah, it's got a, a cute bee vibe to it. Looks like it's not, not gonna be too terrible. Shouldn't be that long to build when they've got all the pieces like this. It makes things significantly easier to <laughs> get. And it, it's one of those things, as you're building it, that doesn't seem like it's going to have that good of details, but when it all comes together, it always seems to look really nice. They've got a space shuttle in there. <laughs> I actually went to see the, the last the launch of the final space shuttle back in way too long ago. The STS-135, I think it was. It was interesting to to see something going that fast in front of you. <laughs> yeah, like I said, this one just sort of jumped out at me as sort of, you know, something different from what I've normally been doing as far as, you know, gets it away from the magical Harry Potter themed looking book nooks, something a little more I don't know, not not realistic, but you know more, you know, more based in reality. Yeah, so, yeah, I don't have my get my don't have my specs on, so I can't read any of the license plate. 
I can't find where I put my specs down. They're probably ah, there they are. <laughs> See what the license plates they got us here. I got a well, I got a New York. Yeah, it's not even more. Okay, I thought it was I thought it was mud specs. New York and a Dell where I can read bicentennial for somebody. <laughs> And that's, I think it's supposed to say Michigan. Uh, maybe that's Maryland. I guess that could be t Tennessee, but I don't, I don't believe that. I'm from Tennessee. I don't believe that was a Tennessee plate even back in the day. <laughs> but it could have been because that was, if it's 76, it was right around. I was too young to remember that. <laughs> but anyways, I will take it. I didn't take a much of a look at the how many actual assembly pages of the book here. I got. Looks like, okay, 30, 33 assembly pages, really, there's a couple of bits on 34, I'm actually start on page, oops, they jump right in, looks like, oh. start, looks like this, no, that's, starts on page 5, so 29 pages, give or take, so let's say we ought to make some good progress on this, and ought to be fun. But, like I say, I'll grab the first couple of steps or pages or however we decide to divide them up and we will get rolling on this. Be right back with that. Okay, first page. Step one, beginning. It's, it's, it's not quite as bad as the rocker as far as their randomness, but the, step, the steps are numbered where we got step 01 and step 021. <laughs> so I'm just going to go with, stick with page. Just, this, that seems to work pretty clearly to me. But here's oh, almost everything. Forgot about our, we do get to go ahead and put the space shuttle and our, our clock in. <laughs> but uh, that's, uh, that's all the pieces on page, well, page five of the first page. So start off with books, but I've already done most of them. But I like to color in the sides on the books just to make it, I think it looks a little more uniform. Oop. And it was totally out of frame for all that. But I just bought some of these furniture repair markers. They got stain in them, so you can get different varieties, cut different colors for different wood types. So it sort of lets me, you know, so I was able to use the brown on that one and the darker brown on that one, so it sort of it doesn't look you know, plain on the sides. Sort of, I think it's a nice touch and also on the side of this one I just happen to have a gold metallic marker and for one of the later pieces I got a silver metallic marker I used and that sort of, unless I just sort of like create a little more 3D sensation on it but right now first step like a lot of these is making books and these should be pretty easy since they come with stickers and don't have to get glue over my fingers get right up on edge and they usually wrap right around okay so I missed on that one but <laughs> so I want to do a little overhang you learn as you go they generally show the binding more than they do the front or the edges so that's not I don't think that's the worst thing in the world so let's just try and get that It's hard to judge that. It's sort of straighter, maybe. <laughs> a little bit, let's say it's. But uh, these, I say, generally, this is the part you actually see. So maybe I should start doing from the middle. Let's see if I can <laughs> hit that line. That might be a good alternative. Close. Still missed, but not too, not as bad as the first one or the second one. Yeah, can't seem to hit those to save my life. Okay, <laughs> I got six more to practice with, so I think I think I'm gonna stick with the start with here. Side. And 
I say a little better. Ready. And it looks like this is going to be very much a just straightforward build. I don't think it's not going to be one of those long, involved book nooks for sure. Okay, I really missed on that one. I'm, that's bad enough. I want to undo it and redo it. <laughs> It doesn't appear that so far there's no real that I've seen any. Okay, I think that one's just wrong on the. <laughs> it's all black anyway, you can't see. I'll just wrap that around. <laughs> I don't see any teeny tiny details that I'm about to build. So I think this is max four days, probably three. The way I'm looking at it, just you know, ballparking it. And another one of those crooked and off and everything. Okay, I'm tired of missing on that. Let's try to see if I can guess that that much. It is not meant to be for me to get these in straight. <laughs> okay, this one doesn't even... You get the guy to... got some dashed lines there that you can't hardly see. I can't hardly see. Maybe not. Of course, that one turned out the best of any of them. Maybe, maybe that's the problem. I don't need the lines. <laughs> All right, now to two. <coughs> see, I don't. I don't think there is a good technique for me to do these. <laughs> right. Of course, the last couple seem to have worked out the best. Let's see what. The, how bad I get the last last one on. Crooked, I think. Okay. Not too bad. Let's see. They seem to progressively get better, which is that's what you want when uh, <laughs> doing something like that. Now Go to gluing to put our picture into its frame. Not like so. Get out the old. I'm going to use my B7000 just because it's already open and I'll save theirs for <laughs> maybe emergency backup supply. Fine bead, if I can do it on all the sides. Should have done dot, dots, but I think that'll still be okay. Okay. The strings are going wild there. Alright, so I'm going to set that aside upside down. I can let, get those strings to let go. <laughs> and then on to some shows. Oh, yeah. I just need that. I'm going to glue in for a minute. And. Motorcycle, space shuttle, still wet evidently. <laughs> I sort of painted the sides white on that, just sort of, I know that's not the right color for that part, but still, brighten it up a bit. 
Okay, so 48. It's the space shuttle. Let's see. Okay, 48. This space shuttle goes into the round hole, it looks like. So you're like that. I sort of got it at an angle. I'm, I'm assuming to want it bent, but the, what the, the back's going to be glued against the wall, I think. And then the clock goes to the front side. This one. Mm -hmm. And motorcycle goes on the back side. Yeah. And here. Mm -hmm. we got that sort of situation going. All right. And then. Oh yeah, there is one more little piece for the uh, <laughs> the first page. Our Oops. side. Slide you guys over. Water. There we go. And let's see here. What are we doing here? We got okay. Got some outlines there, there, and there. Let's get a goes in up here. Let's do actually I think kind of drop break out the old gorilla super glue. <laughs> I think I can this is this is gonna work for this. I, I've decided they're just barking at each other at this point. <laughs> got a little crust going on the Glue, so let me get rid of that. What'd y'all see? <laughs> okay, so. This even coat. Now we're looking at it from this side, so. Good eight or nine seconds of pressure. Hope I've got enough separation to <laughs> not connect myself. Put myself. Yeah. Seems to be good. Okay, get my Oof. Glue around the edge of there. Yeah, it was still wet after all that time, which wasn't much, it doesn't look like. <laughs> now, this guy moves <coughs> around our window here. We're doing that, it gets sort of the view. Right, so I'm gonna actually, I get to leave this one alone after this. So I will for these bigger parts. I think I'm gonna use the B7000. I think that'll be I can sort of set it aside and let it dry while I miss on the other with the other stuff. So, it's a little more forgiving. Usually, good coverage on there. And you down, Swirl you around a little bit. And Looks 
I'm not seeing any light peeking around the edges. So I think that's that. And Side anyway. Okay, yeah, still. All right. <coughs> I'm gonna frog in my throat today, I think. Okay, and. Oops. C44, I forgot, to buy, forgot to put this one on. <laughs> I got it mixed up with something else, to be honest. Sort of see the away from the glare. There's an outline there that can guide us. Sort of the same. And let's see what happens if I put the dots on the outline instead of the piece. Maybe I don't know if it'll work any better or not. Experiment and find out. Zealous with the glue. <laughs> Just piece that small. Yes. Seems to be pretty well. This as rough as that is, I'm not even gonna try and clean it up. Okay, now this guy goes around our little diagram. Let's see as I go immediately around the edges. Let's stick with the if I can, if I can get this dialed in, not going crazy on it. It's still maybe too much. Some of these dots are getting pretty big. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, cover them all in. And smooth enough where I can get my little do that out and see if I can't clean up that edge some. Well, I cleaned some of it up. <laughs> Oh, need our picture. Our bullfighter. That's what it looks like, anyway. Well, no, they're on horseback. Maybe it's not a bullfighter. <laughs> that goes on our little ramp there. So. Nice little bead on there. I'm assuming it just goes. hits the wall or maybe it's the top of that piece. Supposed to be a gap there. Okay. And it doesn't look like there's much of a gap on the instructions, but I'm gonna leave I think just a tiny gap there. I think it'll look good. 
then okay we are supposed to take three books and stack it up over here where it says G48 but I'm gonna do that once we can get it vertical otherwise this goes got our yeah the glare actually shows those outlines pretty good so in here they do not line up remotely close to that okay 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 we got the frame sort of propping the things up here too so that'll, once we get things in place but I do believe that's a job for super glue on that one <laughs> as tricky as it's going to be to get it positioned quick enough we will have to be quick careful and firm with it so seconds there. Good firm pressure. Maybe another 15, 5 or 6 after that. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so that seems to be good. And like I said, it's, it says we're supposed to take three books, stack them up over here. I really want this one to be... Let me... I am going to take a peek ahead and see where the rest of the books end up because I, I think I want this to be prominently displayed just because it sort of has a high contrast ratio. <laughs> I'm peek through here where the rest of the books go. Okay. Okay, I see that. That's way in the back. We're going to use it in there. And. Okay, then I'm top of the fireplace evidently. Let's see where that ends up at. I think that's going to be way in the back too. Ooh, go. I see where they installed them. Oh yeah, that's going to be, yeah, I'm definitely going to use this one on the front on the top. So that, that. Let's see. These, like I say, these are going to be the most visible books. I think I want the most striking colors. Nice red there. I think that'll be a good, good stack of books to put here. And I bet I've hummed and hawed enough now. <laughs> I could probably get that, get away with that. Get the old cell phone stand out. Get pretty generous lean there. And I'm gonna plop them in right now. So, just. I'll be honest, I did not think this one would take this long. <laughs> that shelf is all kinds of crooked. You may not be able to tell it from your angle, but uh, I can see. <laughs> Definitely not level. cool book to have. It has them stacked up fairly neatly, so I'm going to stick with that reasonable neatness. Yeah, that's, and that is all for the first page. So that's coming together right, well, I guess 23 minutes is not that quick. <laughs> that's, I'm pleased with that. Like I said, I think so I think coloring the sides in, I figured out that, I, I didn't figure it out, it just sort of dawned on me a while back that was good. And I just saw, got this little lip sticking out on the edge there. So I'm going to get out my marker just and try and hit that the edge of the picture for the painting there. So just mess everything up. So I'm going to hold it steady and try and hit the edge to <laughs> yeah 
kind of camouflage that a little bit and then reposition it back where I had it. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, still got that little tiny gap there. Okay, now that's the end of page. Page five, first step, first page, whatever you want to call it. So I'll set you aside and bring out our next bit, which is. We won't use the books anymore tonight. Those. Yes. Let's make some stuff and got a got a mirror. Got, yeah, that's you with the mirror. Shelving. So, and then we're doing our liquor rack. <laughs> I, I think that's a. I think this is supposed to be an elephant or a woolly mammoth or something. <laughs> It doesn't I'm sort of a little flummoxed about that one. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Okay, and that and all that and the other side. Well, oops, just disorganize everything I organized there. <laughs> when we get to make some stuff first, then I'll bring that out. Okay put you up top because I'm sure I'll use that again, the cell phone stand. And starting off with... Okay, so our elephant guy, shelf, these guys, and Okay. I think I missed a piece. Or I got the wrong one. one. Yeah. Thought that was it. Maybe it's no, it's where did you come from? <laughs> you don't look like anything. Okay. Do a quick inventory how these go together. Of. Okay, that goes over with you. Okay, I think I got confused. I think I pulled this was not right. Okay, I'm gonna go find the right piece and I'll be right back. Okay, turns out this was the right piece. They've just totally changed the shape of it since they printed the instructions. <laughs> but I double checked. So I'm making like I said. Still, it sort of looks like an elephant, but not. Maybe a, I don't know, a squid. <laughs> but you go in these guys. Both these go in here. And then the ears go in. Not very strongly. <laughs> I think those are going to need glue. So that's sort of. Passing resemblance of an elephant, but may just be a monster of some sort. <laughs> okay, and this guy. Maybe I should have done this first. The top. And these guys go on the sides. Oops, probably other sides. <laughs> Yeah, with the, the veneer on the facing that way, because we're going to be looking at it from this angle, evidently. And those ears seem to be hanging in there, so I guess I, I don't guess I'll glue them in. I'll consider that for a moment. Okay, so that's done. Our worker shelf. And it's on the side. Same. Veneer on this end. And that's where I'm going to pull out a little more of this one again and just sort of 
sort of make it blend a little better. And, uh, Evidently somehow missed that bit. <laughs> yeah, all right. I so I just think that makes a small, you know, little little camouflage for that. Make it sort of blend a little better. <laughs> and our liquor bottles go in. Do I have a preference? Okay, it says the round one on this end. And this one sort of flared neck here. This one on the end. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, ready to bring in our side again. And what are we going here? Let's see. Okay, so this guy goes around that. So which side are we? Now, see that's that's bugging me now that I'm seeing that. So let's. This is going to be. I think, I think it's going to have cover to sort of hide it. But I'm still going to try and get some of this sort of. Sort of less obvious. Like say, hey, that's that's got the notches. So I think yeah, the thing going from going from this side. So let me get the corners. Got some light spots here too. I just saw. Trying Actually, reasonably camouflaged there. <laughs> okay, then turn back here. And get our old. I'm gonna go B7000 for that and super glue for the part that's standing up straight. I think. Silt go underneath, so I'm gonna go. I am gonna favor make sure the top's one's really concealed there. You can see where it sort of pop. And then, like I say, this side's where we're coming from, so there. Ooh, I just saw all that. Hang on, <laughs> get my okay. It didn't want to come back out now that it's in there. <laughs> Staining this stuff. Let me cover that up. Hmm. Likewise, here, maybe I don't need that with all together. Probably never, never would have seen it anyway, but it's sort of, <laughs> while I'm here, might as well knock it out. Okay, now let's get our nice elephant or whatever that is <laughs> back in place. Okay, that side is really, I'm going to, I am going to. Throw some. I'm gonna toss a little glue in there. <laughs> that was really getting loose there. So let's pop just a bit in there, and I said it'd be enough on. Not to hit to both sides. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Still going on this. I just do. Less is more thing. That, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Too much. Over 
suggested. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah, I've got a little bit showing over here that's not, if I don't. I don't think it's gonna let me <laughs> conceal it there. I think that one's sort of made to not be all co full coverage. Make the super glue again. That's nice. Smooth even coat here. Put it in place. Do it against you and pressure. Okay, and um, edit. I think this will probably still be concealed though. I'm, I'm going, might as well keep going. <laughs> be careful that corner. Fairly well covered. <laughs> All right. Why don't they make super glue with bigger, more broad bases so they can <laughs> stay stood up? Okay, now our elephant shelf goes here. Liquor rack goes here. Yeah, okay, so like got an outline. Let's see how it beats it a thousand feels on this. Okay. Let's see, I'm not even sure that elephant's a good name for that. sticking out there so that just seems to be all right and liquor rack Can't get a, okay so Just the opposite on this one. So just keep mix and match, see how they work. If one of them falls off within the night, I'll know I did to use the other one. It goes that way up. So that's here. Our mirror goes there. And that will finish up this page. It's going much slower than I thought it would. It seemed, didn't seem like I was pulling this many pieces or causing this much. Okay, so let's see how much does it just fit? Does the mirror fit through the middle or is it? Yeah, the mirror will fit down in there, so I'll put it in last. Mount this up first, then I'll drop the mirror down in it. I think I'll go back to the B7000 to have the uh, 
a little flexibility on it plus you know the glue always leaches to the inside so that'll be good to hold the mirror in just here so make sure we get some smushed in and to hold our mirror in all over it. <laughs> all right. And I got this guy. I'm sort of liking the other one. I think I will go with the, stick with the B7000. I'm going to let it There's a little bit of adjustment. Make sure I line it up real good with the uh, outline there. the end of that page so he jumped right in on the uh, <laughs> edges is that the one I did the open around on me again or is that just sort of the glue I don't see any outline sticking out all right I think that's good all right so I'll set you aside Lost. Oh, that's right. And we'll move on to the next page. Oh, which is actually still working on this page. <laughs> okay, gonna add some more details on here. Okay. And that is upside down. So I am glad I used the B7000 on that. I had a 50-50 chance and I got it wrong. <laughs> okay, now, these guys. Right. Mm -hmm. and this, this, this. Cassette tapes and LPs. <laughs> Alright. So, we are... Making us an eagle. Go on this side. Our wings. Turn it. Doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> Are they just supposed to go in? Okay, sand to glue these guys. I don't understand. I guess, yeah, I guess it's just supposed to go in like that. So I'm going to. Definitely gonna super glue this in because that's that's an easy one to see. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out okay the wings are gonna be the tricky bit, I think. Definitely got the light side up, so let's put in that little crook. seconds here. Mm -hmm. 
Thrilling, watching glue dry. <laughs> okay, now, I'm thinking I'm supposed to put it in there to sort of cover up. Yeah, because this, this whole back part gets inserted into this thing here. So we want the wings up on the front and spread wide. So we're going to cover, so we're going to do like that with it. And that puts it right in its neck. <laughs> I'm going to say there's not a good up close picture of it. Though. There's a slightly better picture than I'm thinking like that. Okay, so I already started with the super glue. Let's go <laughs> all out. Okay. Just in there and the corner. And get you how you want you and pressure. No risk, no reward, right? And as you can see, I did put some white paint on the eagle's head, too. Alright. That covers all our back side, so let's and rinse and repeat on the other side. I think I got a little less. This is the part side you're not going to really see. The crook, the arm crook in, so I just don't think it's as important. But let's get some pressure in there and do our best anyway. And, uh, three more seconds. All right, so we got our eagle. Now, I said this is supposed to. It's in solid. Alright, that's. I guess that works. <laughs> that's not the best looking eagle I've ever seen, but it'll probably do the trick. Okay. Now, get these three guys. Here in our elephant rack, <laughs> which is what I'm gonna start calling that thing. <laughs> Record goes on the back. Oh, the, the right. This is supposed to go like that. Record here. And tape. Oh no. Tape here. You can't even really see any of those details on the. Yeah, I guess that does sort of show. Okay. Okay, so let's pop you guys out. And this looks like a job for B7000 to me. <laughs> so I'm going to go down the edge. And a little bit on the back. I think I want to go that way. So I sort of see some of the writing there. <laughs> okay. Now, down this section here, <laughs> where we're supposed to install our anchor slash compass <laughs> hanging on the wall. <laughs> okay, so you go in there. I say that kind of 
hook on it. And you're going to go, go straight up into the... Okay, it looks like it does go all the way up into the middle of the liquor rack. With a nice snug fit, so that should be okay. get as far as I thought I was going to tonight, but I'm going to keep going. I'm going to do at least one more page. Okay. Alright. That should set you up. And that is everything I got on that page. And get that other page out here. I keep calling pages the sides. <laughs> yeah, I gotta have plenty of stuff going on further back. I think there's like a balcony or something back here where we get all kinds of activity going in the back side of this thing. So that'll be interesting to see as we develop. Otherwise, yeah, maybe this sort of thing. That's sort of the beginning of the view. <laughs> All right, so let's, let's see, set these guys aside because we're moving on to some more. Got our space, and this one should be a sh fairly short. I so got these metal pieces, so I did, get, like I said, I got the silver metallic marker out for those. I sort of colored the sides of them to sort of match it. <laughs> and this, and... Okay, so let's see here. These guys come later to start this. It's got the flooring on there. I think I yeah, hit the front with a, one of my stain markers. Stain, so it be good. Okay, so these guys just go in. Okay, so just yeah, on the edges. <laughs> Probably a place for us to run wiring. Issue. I'm sure it'll get covered up eventually anyway, but since I've got the markers right here, color them in a bit. Okay. Take the glare off of them, that's much less obvious. <laughs> supposed to represent but that's what we end up with so I'm gonna do maybe I can't do some light drops this time for once So whatever, I guess it's, I guess that's just wood grain. But, yeah. <laughs> Get it to sit aside without hanging on to it. <clears throat> now, this guy's No, because this there. 
They should only fit one way, you would think. Okay, so that's I got the small. It's not snug at all. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, that's. These are not. As I'm used to them being like, you got to almost kill yourself to force them in. Let's see. So this, this is definitely the one that goes back here. Okay, these are just going to take glue. <laughs> They say they're not, no friction whatsoever on theirs. <laughs> okay. Fortunately, oh. they looks like they've all got most of them. This one doesn't have surface area for it, or neither does that one. But <laughs> we'll work around. So. Other side there. Pop you down in it. And this guy. Here. Or the old jug, no, the old jug goes in the middle here. So shoulder there, so you go there. And this guy. Here. And this guy. I believe. Uh, but I say this this is what I'm working from. So maybe I can see it better. So you can't really see the holes. They don't highlight those. But I think that's right. That looks pretty close there. And there's no extra spaces back there for anything else, so I think that'll do it. <laughs> and that was all for step eight. Let me take a peek at step nine. How much how much are we gonna get into here? Okay. Step nine's only a couple of pieces. Or page nine. I'm gonna eventually get that right. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and do nine while I'll let this sort of dry. Knock out nine. Building a, looks like a cabinet. Okay, so. Doo -doo -doo. Hopefully, I won't need the, my glue and sheet. I like it better when they fit together good. No, that's not snug either. That's disappointing. And vertical? No. Both light. Okay. But I think I think I got enough room where I don't have to worry about my glue and sheet here. Just a well clear of the hole. Okay, this I was about to color the bottom in on that, but it's looking at the next couple of steps, it gets concealed pretty good. <laughs> and then oh, you, I can't remember where I try these gauges. No, nope, not <laughs> the gauge is the top of a gear shift knob. I just noticed that. <laughs> Wouldn't pay much attention to that. Mm -hmm. oh, is that other one the same thing? Does it have? <laughs> the other one's an automatic gear shifter. <laughs> oh, man. That's a weird gauge. 
Okay. Okay, let's see what's next here. Okay, now we get to put these guys together, so this guy. I don't know. Okay, so the large slot goes this way, so this must go in. Yeah, because it would the big one wouldn't fit in there. Okay. Once again, loosey goosey. Here and here. Like that one might actually be the one that's most in locked in. Okay, so the, this guy goes down here. And then everything else locks together. And, you, and that. Here. the ultimate goal but I think I think I'm going to put a few drops of glue and some strategic places there I just that definitely doesn't feel strong enough this side feels actually pretty tight so I'm gonna stuff back up again. Mm. This guess isn't no now. <laughs> okay, pop you out. Yep. Oh, so easily the first time. Okay, there it went. <laughs> I did that end. Just because I'm just because I'm a glutton for punishment. We're gonna. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do one more page, and we'll then we'll call it a night. That, that's actually where I thought I'd get to. That, this this page went pretty quick, so we'll need this guy. And this guy, as we move around to step ten, and these guys. All right. So we got, those are all. Next part of the step, I just need these two. Go. Back here. You guys go in here. Y'all are snug. <laughs> Put you down. That's the kind of sound I'm used to on these kits. <laughs> this guy goes down the middle. Okay. Now this stuff goes here and there, I think. Okay. 
Okay, this is going to line up with our desktop here. Okay, there you go. And you. The legs in the back there. Okay. Yeah, everybody cooperating there. And this is probably just probably overkill, but I just want to, since I've got the in here with the stain stick. I'll go ahead and do a little camouflage on that. <laughs> oh, that's that's the top of that. Okay. And we got some verticality. <laughs> and then we got these guys. C31 at the bottom. C12. Now these gonna. Okay. They're not sticking, sticking together. I think maybe they'll tie in down here. that matter but <laughs> okay so yeah I could have flipped the whole thing it didn't <laughs> okay so the, the tabs go front here so well that oh yeah I gotta go that far up okay okay so that and this guy okay looks like gonna need some more glue here <laughs> and start sticking harder pretty quick. Okay, that, that went pretty good. And this on top. Yeah, I think I need glue on the bottom and the top there. <laughs> okay, so. for it too. <laughs> okay. And the steering wheel all sort of goes in here. I'm gonna put it upside down just so we can get see all three of the yokes. <laughs> That's where we're supposed to lay lean. Actually I'm gonna do it at an angle I think. I think that'd be No, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna do one through here and along the back edge there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that sort of thing going. All right, and that is the end of page 10. So that seems like a good place to stop. We got our the most detailed sections there, but of course got our sides as well. Get a hold of it. They're gonna be So we got some good 
good progress being made. Got some, got the, the bones in place. Got, still, got, still, got, still got six books to use. <laughs> so that'll be fun to see them. Well, I said, looking good, feeling good. I think it's going to be a, a good project. I say I'm, don't in, I wasn't anticipating this one taking this long, so maybe I'm totally off on the guess, but I, three to four days is surely more than 10. Uh, what is it? 31 was total. 30, 33, 34. Okay. Okay, it may be a five there. <laughs> we'll just have to see how things go as we progress, but I'm feeling good about it so far. I think this is going to be an interesting build. I like the aesthetic of it so far. But anyways, folks, hey, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, complain, share. Do whatever you want to with all that. Be good to one another. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time.